Kundalini Satrine Quartz, all the way from uh, the Congo, absolutely natural, so this hasn't been treated in any way. It's been given a good clean by me, very, very difficult to clean this material. You'll find that the girth are trapped in between, which in this case, uh, funny enough, would have most likely been pyrite, which lost its sulfur, and thereafter the, the uh, hematite would have lost some of its oxygen, turning it into girthite. Now the coloration in these, I suspect, may be uh, part due to uh, 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 inclusion of uh, uh, pyrite at some stage, which lost some of its sulfur, giving it the yellow uh, coloration which ran through the crystal. A uh, lovely form, you'll have almost this little artichoke effect, little castle of the crystals running up the side. Color-wise, we're looking at a mild honey, almost a little bit of underlying phantoming when we have a close detailed look into the crystals. Uh, a little bit of a rainbow effect on that side, little internal fractures. So as we move it, we have almost a little internal glow. Now let's look into the crystal, let's see if we can find some fine shades of... Uh, phantoming in there. There seems to be a little bit of coloration going a little bit abstract to the yellow in these and these are absolutely natural. You'll find that, that often the, the uh, citrines which have been baked, uh, the quartz will have almost a, if you have your car window uh, shattered, it has that effect when you look into these crystals where these have absolute clarity. So some may use uh, uh, some of these to do faceting uh, for citrine stones.